welcome back to Monica's Spirit Queen, the one and only real psychic medium in the world. Before I go on with this video, I wanted to show you guys something real quick. You guys have seen this in my video. Monica's Spirit Queen shirts. You guys can get these shirts when you contact me at monicaspiritqueen.com in my website. You can contact me on my website to get these shirts. You could personally order them for me. Just put in your information and your phone number, one or two sentences of why you want me to contact you or the fact that you want to place an order of Monica Spirit Queen shirts along with other merch that I have right now so that way I could get it out to you and I also need your mailing address so we'll get into that information when I contact you directly let's get this video to 10,000 subscribers because once I get 10,000 subscribers YouTube allows us to go ahead and put our merch right here at the bottom the bottom so you guys can just click on it and order from there as well now let's get on with the video a lot of people for many years pretty much all my life has been asking me Monica, have you ever been haunted? Are you ever haunted? Do you ever get haunted? The answer is yes. And this video is going to show you a little bit of glimpse of what happens behind the scenes in my house. And not only does it affect us, well not affect us in a bad way like that, but we do notice that obviously there's spirits here. I personally know there's spirits here. But at the same time, our dogs and cats and our animals know as well. So you will see, watch the whole video until the end and you will see what goes on, especially at night, what my dogs actually actually caught in the middle of the night. This literally happened last night and I thought I would make a video and let you guys know so you guys could see with your own eyes that yes, I am haunted. And the last thing I have to say, my announcement before we roll the clip on the video that you guys are about to watch right now, I've been getting emails from you guys asking me, I don't know for some reason, what led you guys to believe that I stopped doing readings right now? Yes, I did say in a live video months ago, this was last year, that I will be retiring but I never gave the retirement date. So I don't understand what made you guys think that I'm not doing readings or I'm not helping you guys when it comes to spiritual activities or attachments, break, breaking black magic spells, or anything that has to do with spirituality. In fact, I am doing weekly mentoring classes as well. So to answer you guys' question, yes, I am doing mentoring. Yes, I am doing readings. I am booking you guys in for readings. I do break black magic spells. I think I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. I do get rid of attachments. I help you guys out with everything and anything that has to do with spirituality. So when you guys contact contact me, be sure to leave your phone number. Without your phone number, your emails automatically get deleted. I don't even see it more than half the time. The management team just automatically deletes it because we don't waste our time. I don't do email chats for the millionth time, you guys. I don't do email chats. So stop emailing me, telling me for me to email you back and this, no, it does not work that way, okay? My business, the way I run it is you need to leave a phone number. And what I'm gonna start doing is I'm going to have my team actually email you guys back. Management's gonna email you guys back with the time and date specifically on when I am personally going to contact you guys back or my management team is going to contact you guys back and on top of that there is a fee for a consultation okay so be prepared don't look at it as well Monica is just going to contact me we're going to chit chat this I don't have time for that so there is a consultation fee and the consultation will determine if I need to book you guys in for a reading if you guys are actually having some kind of a spiritual activity going on with you or it could be psychological and I will kindly let you guys know that you might need to see a therapist or a counselor because this has nothing to do with spirituality of what's going on with you guys in your life. So that way I don't waste my time and you don't waste yours. So with that said, be sure to leave your phone number in an email and be sure to know that I take serious inquiries only. If you're not serious about getting my help or booking in a reading or paying for a consultation or the services that I provide afterward, then don't contact me. There's a lot of fake psychics out there with mom and pop shop that will destroy your life even worse than what's going on right now. So I don't even waste my time on that. Make sure that you're serious about getting the help because I don't play games and I don't play around. Now with all that said, I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of what happened last night. I was laying in bed, I was getting ready to go to bed after I got done doing a reading with the client. Everybody's asleep in the house, including my husband, my kids, my animals, my dogs, my cats, my reptiles. Everybody's asleep. And all of a sudden, I hear one of my dogs howling like a wolf. And it's not just a little bark like you're hearing right now. It's an actual howl. So right away, I, I grab my phone and I'm checking the video because I have surveillance cameras throughout my house as well as uh, around the perimeter outside of my house too. So I'm checking every single video. All my animals are asleep. My dog woke up for a quick second howl and then lay back down and fell asleep again. So there's no movement, no nothing. I'm listening 
to see what's going on. And all of a sudden I'm hearing things getting shuffled around. Things are getting shuffled around. Things are getting moved around. What I, where I'm hearing it at is in my kitchen area. So then right before I got up to investigate in the video, the live video of my surveillance camera where I'm watching and listening, I start hearing people talking. There are multiple different voices that are talking. One female, a couple of male. And at first I thought I was like, okay, well maybe somebody's TV is on in one of my kids' room so i get up and check and and i'm checking the cameras there's no tv on there's no nothing on so i was just like okay so what is really going on and you're going to see in the video after a period of time of a conversation going on again like i said it's dead quiet all lights are off everybody's asleep so like i said everybody's asleep i'm checking the rooms i'm checking everything i go in the kitchen there's nothing there nobody there it's dark whatever entities or spirits are in my house they are trying to hide from me so i won't be able to to tell where they're at and normally I would you know I'm very good in catching spirits even the ones that are hiding but at the same time I felt like it's too late I'm tired I'll deal with it in the morning I was really really tired but I decided to still go out and check real quick upon me walking around the house and checking including the kitchen where I heard all that conversation coming from I took my phone and I started recording because my attention was getting pulled towards my back door my sliding glass door for about you know my, that comes goes to the backyard and i'm like okay so i'm filming and i slowly walk up to where my dogs are sleeping in their crate because they're crate trained and they sleep in their crate at night upon hearing my quiet footsteps both my big dogs my german shepherd and my, my pit bull Gemma and Zena, which you guys have seen in my videos many times they woke up and i come around the corner and they see me they know it's me and obviously they don't they're not gonna bark at me right and you could see in the video it takes them a few seconds for them to start barking after they see me so it's not like they think oh somebody broke in or it's too dark they can't see because dogs could see really well at night in the dark my dogs start barking Gemma my pit bull is actually and you could see her face she's actually looking towards the direction of where I'm filming where I got pulled to this one area in my house which is my back door and at the same time she looks and she stops and looks and she starts barking at the same direction where I was filming at. I was not close to it where you could see where maybe it's a coincidence that yeah you know my my dog is barking and looking at the same direction and I'm standing right next to where I'm filming at. No I was standing away from it like across from it. So instead of my dog looking at me which she would a couple of times she turned around and looked exactly at the same direction where I was pointing my camera and filming me where I felt like there was an entity or some kind of spirit there and what I'm thinking is I might have spooked whatever it was out and it was it left from my back door and that's where my dog was barking trying to alert me to tell me hey mom guess what somebody just came out out of the house through the back door. with that said I want you guys to finish watching this whole video I want you guys to comment below and let me know if you see anything that I might have missed in the video because it's easier for me to see hear and feel spirits in the physical form rather than just filming and seeing the orbs and shapes and sizes shadows and all that good stuff all those stuff is for you guys to see but i can physically personally see them myself without a, a camera or a phone or anything like that you guys might have to watch the video this clip that i'm going to show you a couple different clips and different angles of the surveillance camera where you guys could see me walking out of my room along with me filming with my own phone camera at the direction at the dogs you can see my dogs are already asleep so it's there's no movement there it's not the dogs moving around they were sleeping and at the same time you guys will see Gemma when she wakes up and she starts barking and looking at the same direction where my phone camera was pointing at recording the whole time so with that said I want you guys to enjoy the video and like I said don't forget to comment below rewind it a few times rewatch those parts let me know if I might have missed something on the video maybe it's an orb you guys saw maybe it's a shadow figure maybe you guys heard something that I might have missed in the video all that good stuff let me know me and you are going to investigate this together so don't forget to do that and on top of that click the thumbs button and subscribe because i decided i'm going to film a lot more let me know if you guys want me to film a lot more in, in the comments below of the activities spiritual activities that are happening in my home if you guys want to see more i would gladly show it to you guys and also if you guys need spiritual guidance if you guys need mentoring i do weekly mentoring classes plus yes to clear the air and answer everyone's questions for a million times, I am doing readings. I am still booking in readings for you guys, and I am still helping you guys spiritually and doing spiritual work. So if you guys need anything as far as spirituality goes, any type of help, please let me know, and I'll be happy to book you in. Don't forget, go to monicaspiritqueen.com. Enjoy this video. Love you guys.
What?